So if we go to the semester one folder, newspapers, guardian and links in here, of course, we have our image links, but also the links for our text, which are in the form of Microsoft Word files. So if I double left click on copy Theresa May edition, that will open up in Word, of course, and then I can actually split the view of both windows here. So I'm going to click on the window for InDesign and then just drag my InDesign window to the side so I can see both bits of information. I'll switch to InDesign and click on the zoom tool. I'm going to head up to the upper left hand side and then just use the space bar to pan and get a good clear view of that first top left text frame. I don't need to edit images. So rather than going to the visibility icon and hiding everything, which in the cases where I've got white text makes things really challenging, I can hover my cursor between the visibility icon and the layer color. And I can click in that empty space and that will lock everything related to images. So again, I'm preventing myself from clicking on things that's going to waste time. Next thing I'll do then is I'll press the W key on the keyboard to show grids and guides and make sure that my selection tool is active because to be honest, the selection tool is probably going to be the one that you'll have active most often. It'll allow me to hover my cursor over the text frame. If I left click once that selects the text frame, but if I want to edit text, I can double left click wherever I double left click that inserts your type tool. And then from here, well, very similar to most apps, you can double left click to highlight a word. You can triple left click to select one line, or you can quadruple left click to select a paragraph of text. Now, so with all that text selected, if I hit the delete key on the keyboard or the backspace key, I can see that my long read text over on the right hand side now tells me that the heading is, I can just start typing it in like so. And in design, as you can see, remembers the formatting of what the text should look like in that frame. When I'm done editing, as you always should do in any Adobe application, press the escape key because you literally escape from your text frame. Hitting the return key or anything else like that is going to give you undesirable end results. That then takes you back to the selection tool and it makes the text frame active. And then you can click to the side of the page to deselect.